let's take a look at what effect ISO has on your image. Now remember, different cameras are going to react differently. So as cameras get better and better, they're always going to have better results. So this is just one example from one camera. So I'm going to zoom in, use this loop tool to zoom in on part of the image. Now this one is ISO 200. Okay, and again, I had a really slow shutter speed here, about a 20th of a second. So you can see why I might want to increase that shutter speed. I really want you to concentrate on the red part above that, that golden dragon there as we go up. So that's, that's um, ISO 200. This is ISO 400. ISO 800. And as we go up, you'll start to notice little tiny bits that are happening in there in that... Um, red especially and as we get ISO 3200 now I can really really see it ISO 6400 wow look at those specs it just looks that's digital noise that's ISO 12800 and ISO 25600 so you can see the same image I've taken it just with the highest ISO it's really not very good now I had a really high shutter speed for that that was one, uh, almost one four thousandth of a second for that compared to one twentieth of a second. So I did get the benefit of a much faster shutter speed, but you can see the image quality is just not there. So let's compare again between ISO 200 and ISO 25,600. So big difference. So that's the effect that ISO has on your final image. So I try to keep the ISO as low as I can um, but sometimes I need to raise it to be able to get a shutter speed that I can uh, use in that situation.